time is it? You know what time it is? It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Right down there. It's time to find my Instagram. Kiki Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda Reacts on TikTok too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. do a little something fun today it's this is was a suggestion by somebody and i was like this sounds interesting and i found this video it's the eight biggest unsolved mysteries in india i mean these kind of stories always get my interest so you already watched it let's just get to it the eight biggest unsolved mysteries in india right y'all ready go <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at the eight biggest unsolved mysteries of India. Every country around the world has some very unsolved mysteries. But out of all of those uh -oh. countries, India may have the most. Really? From things that make no scientific sense to very eerie and scary mysteries. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. <laughs> it's getting a little Coming up first, so we have the floating pillar. Oh, what's that? Very near to the city of Bangalore, India, there's a place called Lepakshi. And in Lepakshi is the Rabhadra Temple. This temple is very beautiful and many Indians and people who come from other countries love to visit it. But there's one really amazing thing about this temple and it's one of its pillars. The most famous pillar of this temple is called Arkasa Stampa. Okay. This means floating pillar, and that's because this pillar is suspended in midair. What? You can pass a cloth or other object underneath the pillar. But nobody knows exactly how this pillar appears to float no in midair. When the British were in power of India, no they were fascinated way. by this pillar. Nobody understood how it seemed to be suspended in the air. Today it's a very popular tourist attraction and people love to put their what? hands under the pillar oh, to I show it's floating. No, no, Scientifically, no. this shouldn't even be possible. Due to the weight of the pillar, so unless it, it was actually touching the ground, it no, should no, no, pull no, the no, temple no, down. No, do but for some reason, this does not reach the ground. It's not bad architecture as every other part of this temple is perfect. And you can see That's... by the stonework that the ground never touched it. It's not That's like the ground crazy. just pulled down or rotted away. Well, this so is, how they exactly start is this big. pillar of this temple floating in midair? This is an Indian mystery which may they never be solved. They start big with a floating pillar. Next up is Pralad Jani. God, what is that? What was the last meal you consumed? Um, Chances are you can remember it pretty easily. Fried rice. But this is not the case for a man named Pralad Jani in India. Uh -oh. He said the last bit of food he ever ate was near the early years of WW2. And he, he says it was such a long time ago he can't even remember exactly what it was. But despite not eating or drinking for 70 years, this guy is 82 years old and healthy. And he's not lying either. This guy's been watched and he hasn't eaten or drank anything for years. For normal people, if they didn't drink or eat within a week, they would have passed on. But Mr. Jani is completely different and he says he's never felt better. You may think that due to his lack of food and water, he's got no energy. But he actually walks around 20 miles a day in the jungle. He says he never sweats and doesn't feel tired or sleepy. They gotta he watch says him he can also meditate for a very, very long time. He, he says he sometimes spends his, his days meditating for 3, 8 That's or 12 true. hours. And the longest he's gone while just meditating has been 2 months. In that time, he didn't eat or drink. Some say the guy's just crazy and is full of nonsense. But this man says his Hinduism and holiness allows him to do this. He spent 15 days at the state hospital in Gujarat. In that time, he was monitored around the clock and nobody saw him consume any food or water whatsoever. No human should be able to survive this, but Mr. Jani does, and with no ill effects. What? Doctors ran many tests on him, and they found he doesn't need food to be healthy. Instead, he says he gets energy from the sunlight, much like he's a plant does the, with photosynthesis. He's, he's part but plant. how do you think this guy survives without eating or drinking anything he's in 70 plant. years? Do you think he's playing some kind of trick on everyone and really is drinking and eating? Know. And if so, That's how is this possible, seeing as he's been monitored around the See? clock by so many people? I agree, people? how do they... Next up is Yetis. I'm sure we've all heard the urban That's legend what I was of say, Yeti. Yeti like the it's basically w India's version of the USA's Bigfoot legend. Yeah, like the Bigfoot. Well, every year India gets many reports of people seeing the abominable snowman, aka the Yeti. These Yetis are Just often sighted in the Himalayas oh, they in India. The Himalaya Mountains. The Himalayas are a right. giant snowy mountain range. And, they and saw because there. Yetis often <gasps> have white fur, this means they can blend in and camouflage. Look at that. Yetis are described kind of like prehistoric bears. And many skeptics say those who think they see yetis are actually just seeing bears. 
However, many natives to the Himalayas and those who live there say they see yetis quite frequently. Really? One witness said it was around 6 feet tall and weighed around 400 pounds. Their hair is light grey and very shaggy, and the area around their face is hairless. There are even very famous legends of yetis taking what? humans off and them never being seen what? again. Gonna For steal example, humans? one Sherpa girl was apparently once <gasps> taken by a yeti and her family never saw her again. But do you think these people claiming to see yetis are just seeing bears or are they just making it all up? Oh, no. Next up we have the Jodhpur Boom. Why the Jodhpur Boom a was a deafening sound which was heard in the skies of Jodhpur, India. On December 18th, 2012, really? at 11.25am, people were going ago. about their day. The citizens of Jodhpur were getting ready for that the day and going to work. That was when all of a sudden in the sky was a deafening sound. It sounded like some kind of supersonic boom and was very loud and everyone in Jodhpur heard it. Some thought it was some kind of ginormous explosion or a meteor hitting Earth, but no damage was seen anywhere oh, near okay. the area. Some connected it to the Mayan calendar, which predicted the Earth would be destroyed in 2012. Ooh, okay. But of course, seeing as I'm recording this in 2019, <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, didn't it's true. <laughs> At first, some people said maybe it was an maybe. Air Force That's test what I was in thinking. the region, maybe some but kind the Indian Defense spokesperson said this was nothing to do with maybe the Air Force. Maybe it was the UFOs. So what was the maybe supersonic was the aliens. boom which caused windows to shatter and everyone to be deafened? Well, still no one knows, and it remains a big Indian mystery to this day. Geologists in the USA and UK reported seismic readings, which they've oh, never geez. seen before. They, they say this must stuff. have a connection to the Jodhpur boom, but no one's sure. Really, it's just an incredibly loud noise heard in the sky, Why but nothing's been known about it in since. India that, that we Some say it could have been aliens <sighs> trying to make contact with humans, but they failed. Leave a comment down See, below. See, that's what I was thinking. Think it was the aliens. That morning. Next up is the Lona Crater Lake. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't the Lonar Crater this. Lake is in Mashahashtra, one of the largest areas in India. It's a very beautiful green lake, but there's pretty. one big mystery surrounding uh, it. Oh, what? That is how it remains full 24-7. All throughout the year, this lake remains full, but mm. no one ever fills it up. A sculpture in one of the temples near this lake tells the story of a demon. This what? demon named Lavansa apparently wants to cause trouble to Mother Earth. And some say this lake could have been cursed by Lavansa the oh, demon. Oh, I won't go the in that lake then. was created no, no, no. by a meteor yes. thousands of years ago. I won't go some in that said lake. the meteor has some kind of effect which makes this lake never dry mm -hmm. out all through the year. Yeah, it's no, also no. the only known it's hypervelocity it's... impact crater ballistic rock anywhere on Earth. Mm -hmm. So if you live anywhere near the Lonar Crater Lake, I suggest paying it a visit. As no, it's I amazing. won't. They got the devil cursed it. Next up is soldier. Or a ghost. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Every country has their fair share of ghost stories. And this India is, is no exception, one. with the story of the ghost of Baba Harbhajan Singh. Baba Harbhajan, Harbhajan Singh was an Indian soldier who passed away in 1962. This was during okay. the China-India battles. Right. He actually passed away on a glacier, but Ooh, the legend really? of his ghost goes like this. He apparently led the search party to his body in the water. Then, through a dream, he instructed one of his colleagues to build and maintain a shrine after him. Oh. The shrine was built in the Samadhi Hills. And ever since then, his ghost has apparently been seen around the shrine at night. His boots are left by the shrine and are cleaned every night. But they every morning they're crumpled and muddy. Ooh. People say this ghost soldier continues to patrol the areas. And legend also has it that in the event of another battle between India and China, Baba would warn would the good, Indian and Chinese it? soldiers days in advance. That would be and good finally on the list movie. of India's biggest unsolved mysteries, uh -oh. we have UFO Base. Have you ever heard UFOs? of the Konkala Pass? No! The Konkala Pass is one of the least accessible areas in the entire world. It's located on the Himalayan mountains between the border of India and China. Okay. Well, because it's such a no man's land, many say that's why UFOs have chosen to make it their underground base. What? Reportedly, the Kongala Pass holds a massive underground construct of UFOs. How An you online know that? search can see many UFO sightings around these areas. The reason why is because oh. this part of the world's crust is twice as thick as other places. Okay. And some say the UFO bases are deep underground into the world's tectonic plates. Oh. In 2004, a UFO sighting was investigated by a team of geologists. They, did, huh? they were able to capture <gasps> on film a robot-like figure standing around a mountain edge and then disappearing upwards. It's been confirmed this footage hasn't been faked, but no one's sure exactly what it is. Maybe it's simply army testing. Okay, That's because many say China and India use these remote areas for testing out their military operations. But who knows, maybe it really was a UFO located in this area. I believe it, Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for you the biggest got Indian the mystery on this list. I think it's the floating pillar, as I have no idea how that works. See, if that's the one I can't get. Videos, then check out they started my off, channel. all right, It'll they started off big with that. That floating pillar, That I think that's the one I can't even... That is even get my mind around because that's they it's just, I gotta go see that one the other stuff with that lake 
with the, about the demons. I don't care about all that. And the yetis, they couldn't stay because they already should kidnap somebody. They're, uh-uh, uh-uh. I, I don't have to go see all that. And the UFO stuff, I mean, if they had that, that boom, that could go together. They got the base over there and they had the boom right there. That can go together. But still, you hear about those aliens kidnapping and, and, and taking people and doing experiments on them. Oh, no. Mm-mm. We ain't going to be fooling with that. But that floating pillar, I wonder what that's about. And they was putting the scarves up. People put their hands on there. They, look, you can get a little earthquake or something. That thing comes c- crashing down. I wouldn't be doing that. But that's, all right. Well, these are neat. I love to see if y'all have any requests or anything more like this. I I love it. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time. <laughs>